Hi guys. So, um, I'm pretty sure today or this video is going to be the last, uh, learning the basics of Python with me. And, oh, by the way, if you have anything that, that you want me to talk about, uh, leave it in the comments below and I'll definitely talk about them. Um, today we're going to talk about modules. So modules are basically a like file or like a Python file containing a bunch of functions or things that you want to use in a new script. So, um, if it basically like if you have a like a script that you made previously and you want to use some of that like some of those functions in your code you're making now you could do that by importing it i'm going to be showing you a simple way how to use modules for for yourself or and or using some that are like universal that other programmers have made to um like expand uh the horizon of, co of coding in python there are several built-in modules in python and i'll definitely link to like the index for them below in the description but um, there's also other modules that other programmers have made that aren't on that list, and um, a lot of the ones I used weren't uh, built in. But I'll show you. I'll definitely show you them, and I'll show you how to install them into your uh, Python. <laughs> I'll show you how to install them so you can use them yourself. And I might actually show you some of the things I created with some um, really cool modules. So uh, on the screen right now, I can show you um, a really simple way. In this first, in the first uh, script, uh, there's a function. And um, let's say I want to make a new script that's different, but I still want to use that function from the last script on my new script. So all I would do is save the first script and um, with the file extension um, .py saying it's a Python file. And then on the second script, you would do on the top import and the name of the um, file. So, it, the, so the computer knows, oh, I'm going to import these definitions on to this code, but without showing it. And then you can call a func you can call a function to be used in that second script by doing the name of the, the first script period, and then the title of the function, and then um, whatever you want to put in there or whatever you need. Oh, you can also rename a module. So like if your files um, file name or like a module is too long and, and you want to like um, make it shorter, you can do uh, import the full name of the the um, the module as like as, and then your like what you want to like actually use it as like usually shorter. Okay, so if you want to install like modules, uh, Python modules, but they're not built in, so they're not automatically in like Notepad. That you have to install them on yourself. You can either download the package from the uh, whatever source you found it. Again, do your research and figure out if that's something you really want and um, how to install it. But the way I usually do it is I open up my terminal. So you can just go to your uh, Windows and search up terminal or console. And then you uh, you figure out, first you figure out what version of Python you have. I have uh, 3.9. But um, what I do is type in py, I'll, I'll show it on screen right now, but it's py space dash m space pip space install and then space the module name. And once it's installed, you should be able to use it in your code. Allow me to show you my complicated clock. So, right now it is 312. This represents the hours, and these represents the minutes, but um, in uh, quarters. So, if, so it's 3, and if, it's right now it says 3, like, three o'clock and when it hits 315 this led is going to light up when it hits 330 this led is going to light up as well but when it hits 345 this led is going to shut off and when it hits four both leds are going to shut off and this will turn into a four that's my clock this is my sensor and this is a calculator lid uh no i don't okay so if i turn this on it starts this simulation over here. So this is a virtual simulation of this here. So if I put this here, there's this white thing there that if I move my lid, it goes closer. As you can see, like if I move it, it also moves. Now see how it says feet? This is in inches, but we're just gonna say it's feet. So this is like 12 inches away. And as you get closer to that red mark, ah, what the, a notification pops up and says someone is within six feet. 